Trip loading of stock trout is a process that sterilizes trout. Sterilization has several benefits to fisheries managers. Foremost is the reduction of genetic interaction between hatchery and wild fish, preventing the establishment of non-native genetics in a watershed or wild population. Triploid trout can live longer than diploid trout. Growth and size can be substantially more than diploid trout if managers delay harvest in waters these are stocked. And the process reduces mortality of stocked populations by elimination of post-spawning season stress as there is no development of eggs and milt. The trip loading process is labor intensive, requiring specific attention to detail via small batches of fertilized eggs being pressure shocked. This results in the retention of a third set of chromosomes causing sterilization. As spawning season approaches, adults are observed for ripeness. Once ready to spawn, the ripe males and females are sorted. Females are expressed and eggs are collected in 1.5 liter containers and transferred to the trip loading area in a cooler on ice. The eggs are weighed to closely estimate the amount of milt required. Males are expressed to collect milt in three mill syringes. These are also moved to the trip loading area in a cooler on ice. At the trip loading area, as soon as the fertilization process begins, time is critical. Time zero of the entire effort begins at the first lot's fertilization and lots are fertilized 10 minutes apart. 1300 grams of eggs are mixed with six to eight syringes of milt and a milt activation solution is added. The eggs and milt are mixed and let stand for two minutes. Fertilized eggs are washed of impurities to ensure the lot is as clean and pure as possible. The eggs are transferred to a net container and held in 10 degrees Celsius water where egg development occurs based on the accumulated temperature minutes for the trout species being processed. Once the required accumulated temperature minutes are reached, the eggs are transferred into the cylinder and placed into the pressure shocker. Pressure builds to 9,500 to 10,000 PSI, again species dependent. The pressure is held for 5 minutes, which blocks the extrusion of the third polar body during meiosis, causing the eggs to have three chromosomes instead of two, rendering them sterile. At 5 minutes, the pressure is reduced and the eggs are transferred to a water hardening bucket. After two to three hours, they're disinfected, inventoried, and placed in an incubator. Most eggs are incubated until the eyed stage, about 22 to 32 days at 10 degrees, depending on species. At that time, they're cleaned up and shipped to the provincial hatcheries for hatching, rearing, and stocking into public waters. Upon emergence, the alevin are sustained from their yolk sac for up to three weeks. Once the yolk sac is completely absorbed, the swim-up fry are moved to various troughs and then to circular tanks. <laughs>